Good evening and welcome to the regularly scheduled Midland Board of Education meeting on October 8th, 2012. Uh, Mr. Wasserman sitting in for Mrs. Baker. Would you please call roll? Certainly. President Malt. Here. Vice President Wasserman present. Secretary Baker absent. Treasurer Rowley. Here. Uh, Member Branstad. Here. Member Gorton. Here. And Member Kaminsky. Here. We Thank have you. a quorum. Thank you. With uh, that, we have a uh, much shortened consent agenda compared to the last one. So we'll go through that very quickly unless there's something somebody would like removed or has a question about. Uh, now would be the time. If not, we'll proceed with 2.1, the approval of the regular minutes or meeting minutes from Monday, September 24th, 2012. 2.2 uh, is the following person is recommended for employment 2012-13 school year. Uh, 2.3 is the following staff members announced that resigna resignation is effective as the dates indicated. Uh, 2.4 is uh, Midland Public Schools joint other districts in a lawsuit against the state of Michigan. Uh, it's uh, since the 1970s, I believe. 2.4 in that category. Uh, 2.5 is the approval and request to authorize payments for the following legal bills. Uh, and that uh, is our consent agenda. Move uh, approval consent items 2.1 through 2.5. Support. Moved by Mr. Ole, supported by Mrs. Branstad. Any further discussion or questions? If not, we have a motion on the table. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Thank you. Moving to, into requests to address the board. And uh, just for those audience members who are here, this probably will set a new MPS record for the shortest meeting um, given, our, given our agenda. But uh, you're welcome to uh, approach the podium if you have a comment to make. Seeing none, we will close the request to address the board and move on to curriculum instructions uh, with Dr. Allison. Thank you, Mr. Malt. This evening I have several books to bring to you for our uh, curriculum and instruction uh, group. We have some books for sales management, merchandising, and marketing. Uh, some interesting titles, some of which you probably have already read. <laughs> uh, interestingly, some of the staff are stopping by to read some of them, so if you need one, I can get you a copy. I'll uh, bring these back in 28 days after our period of examination. Thank you. And as for, <coughs> excuse me, for information only, and so with that, we move on to Mrs. Klein for finance. We have some gifts this evening. The first was a donation of items, and these were brand new items, I believe, in their original packaging. Tractor Supply Company locally donated some hand tools for use in the CTE programs that have been distributed at the high schools and the middle schools. Uh, then we also have gifts totaling $3,000 from the Dow Chemical Community Gives Fund at the Midland Area Community Foundation, and that's to support uh, a cheerleading project at Dow High School. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Allen and Jean Ott have provided support for the Dow High School debate program, and because of his role as a trustee, uh, the Rollin M. Gerstacker Foundation also matched that gift. And so they were really able to double the value of the individual gift. So the Dow High School debate program benefited uh, twice. Thank you, and thank you to all of our donors. Um, that's uh, pretty impressive. This, again, it's early in the year, and it's uh, been pretty consistent since the beginning of school. So um, with that, um, we'll move on to Mr. Wasserman, who has a short uh, committee report from HR. Very short. We met on October 3rd at 4 p.m. Um, myself, Mr. Malt, and Ms. Bradenstadt were in attendance along with Gary Valindi and Cynthia Finney. The committee reviewed a grievance that advanced to the Board of Education level. That's what we can say about that at this time. Mr. Verlindi. Yes, thank you. We have one staff member who has announced her retirement, effective as of January 1st, 2013, and that's Mary Haney. Uh, bus driver in transportation and uh, in technology which is next on the list here just a four information item for public information uh, the district is uh, going to have an open bid request for any vendors who would be interested in bidding on repairs of all our new iPads that are coming in if we should have some repairs that need to be done we'd like to get a very competitive price and we bring that up for public information 
so that they know that. They can simply call Mary Keekstra in the business office and get all the specifications on that bid. Thank you. Any questions of Mr. Rolandi? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, we're to that point. Uh, correspondence to and from the Board of Education is in your agenda, and you've all had uh, an, an, a number of days to review that. Scheduled activities for the remainder of the year uh, for member or, uh, board me meetings. Um, you'll note that there is only one meeting in December, which is December 10th. Study discussion, and I will start to my right with this board with respect to where we're at in our agenda. So if you, it's 705. <laughs> <laughs> too fast you. for me. I just, I guess I just have nothing to say except the gifts are great. I mean, I think we're a very fortunate school district. Thank you. Hey, I know the MEEP starts tomorrow. So good luck to everyone taking that. Make sure the kids get a good night's sleep and a good breakfast. And I'm already the parent that everyone hates because my daughter won't be in school tomorrow because she's sick. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, we're already going to be making up meat. <laughs> so it's hard to believe we're a quarter or, what, halfway through the first marking period. It's gone fast. Gone fast. Terry. Um, I have had the opportunity to watch the forum on TV since the last meeting. And uh, just like to thank the league and Betty and AUW again and for the candidates, uh, both for running and for attending the forum, and also Joyce for being at the meeting. And uh, I would urge all the candidates, if they want to interact with board members before the election, after the election, uh, to inquire what the role of a board is and what it's like and issues that we see from our perspective for insights, feel free to call me. I'll be glad to talk to anybody anytime. Thank you, Greg. Uh, thanks to the donors for the gifts. It continues to be, um, continue to be very, uh, as a school district to have that type of support from the community it's very much appreciated and the matching gift to go along with that too um, with looking at the school count day um, I thought that was kind of interesting to look at um, uh, the, the count number that we had for kindergarten I think we actually had to gain a little over 40 students if you do some rough calculations on that that's about a third of the cost additional cost it took for us to go to all day kindergarten which was kind of impressive and uh, it was just really really pleased to see that so um, it's great to see that confidence from the community and as we invest and do new things that the community brings their children and supports us. Um, I w I've been out of the country, and so I apologize again for missing the last board meeting. So I haven't had a chance to look at the candidate forum uh, yet, but I will because I t voted. So I uh, echo Jerry's comments, and I also want to thank Joyce for taking the time to come to our board meeting. So thank you. Boy, short and sweet. Um, I'd like to just comment on uh, all of you received the email from Carl with respect to the wireless and how uh, now MPS is in all of our buildings is completely wireless with respect to that uh, technology and having that available. Um, and um, uh, if you haven't read, there's some pretty good pieces in the paper, in both uh, Middle and High and uh, paper at the Focus and the update from Dow High. So please take time to read those. Uh, there are some interesting articles and some well-written articles by our uh, student uh, newspaper uh, personnel. So it's uh, always good to see what they're doing. Um, exciting nights uh, uh, in the last couple uh, Fridays for both Midland High and Dow High for homecomings. And uh, they both, both, both ended up doing very well in their respective homecoming. And it uh, seems like uh, everything went off without a hitch with respect to the festivities that surround that. So that was, uh, that's always a good thing. So. With that, uh, uh, again, thanks to the donors and their gifts, and uh, I'll turn it over to Carl. Just thought you were going to forget about me there for a minute. Not at all. <laughs> Mr. Not Bob. at all. You made me Not nervous. I mean, we've run out of time. I mean, I mean, yeah. We're yeah. running out of time. We, we may have to extend. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of things that I wanted to draw to the board members' attention at your place, I think, was a list of our tentative board meetings, um, even those that continue after January 1st. Remember, with the change to November elections from May elections, the organizational meeting for the board now is no longer in the summer in July. It'll take place at that first meeting in January, and then we'll establish what the uh, time of meetings would be, the place, obviously, here. And if you want to keep the same structure or look to do uh, something different, um, don't get too used to a meeting as short as it appears this one's going to be. Um, we've got some major change proposals coming your way, and things pick up once we get the school year off and running like uh, we have here in the last uh, month and a half. 
So you might want to log those onto your calendar if you haven't already, just to make sure that they're there for, from January through June of 2013. The other thing like we always do is we provide you with a calendar of events and Cindy just recently today sent a notice out to all the buildings asking them to keep this updated because then you know of those activities that are going on in the building and we certainly encourage your attendance um, at as many of those as you feel you can get to. Um, I wanted to share with you that uh, Mr. Verlindi and I were at the uh, Michigan Association of School Administrators Conference week before last. Uh, came back from that and it was pretty interesting. Uh, our uh, Friday morning uh, speaker, I believe it was Friday morning, was Brad Bellady, who was legal counsel and head lobbyist for MASA. And he spoke a lot about the uh, implications of the different proposals for laws that are on the books, potential changes. Um, if you watch all those uh, commercials promoting positions one way or the other um, on school time, we can't promote positions uh, on those. You want to take a look very carefully at words that people are choosing uh, to get folks' attention. They don't always use the word will or would, but they often use the word could. Um, so you want to be real careful. Uh, there are a lot of potential laws that can be impacted by some of those proposals, so we want to encourage our community to go to sites that are really uh, objective in nature. The Citizens Research Council would be one that provides an analysis of each of those proposals and what it might mean to public schools in the state of Michigan. So I'd recommend that site. I wanted to share a uh, focus and end this meeting on students from HH Dow High School. Congratulations to the Dow High equestrian team who competed uh, the last weekend in September. They are regional champs and now move on to state competition. So congratulations to them. Just as an FYI, Midland High School, I don't think we want to let this occasion slip by. Last week, uh, congratulations uh, were offered to the Midland High senior offensive lineman, Stephen Elmer, Elmer, who many of us know uh, is going to Notre Dame on a full ride scholarship to play football. He's also been chosen to play for the U.S. Army team in the U.S. All-American Bowl on January the 5th, 2013 in San Antonio. Stephen was one of 80 students chosen from across the country for this great honor. Um, we're very proud of him and that effort. He's a great student, um, really is a leader uh, in a quiet manner over at Midland High. And I don't know who's more excited, Stephen or Coach Metner, because he gets to go along with us. <laughs> <laughs> so it's quite an opportunity for the two of them. Uh, for information also, um, congratulations to the six Midland Public School students who have been named semifinalist in the annual National Merit Scholarship Program. The nationwide group of semifinalists represents less than 1% of U.S. high school seniors. That's something that all of you as board members should really be proud of. The community should have a school district that allows that kind of thing to happen. But most importantly, congratulations to those six students. Um, Adams Art Week was a huge success last week. Students participated in after school activities in pottery, art appreciation, language arts, creative mov movement, and creative dance. Uh, there were three workshop leaders from our community that included Sarah Brandt, Annette Clemens, and Linda Smith, as well as Jenna DeLude, who is the Adams art teacher. So congratulations to them for offering these experiences to our students. And then lastly, congratulations to the Midland High varsity soccer team who won the inaugural Saginaw Valley League Regional Soccer Championship this past Saturday. Both Midland High and Dow High will begin district tournament play on October the 15th. So those have been strong programs, both of them in recent years. Uh, looks like they're going to continue that tradition uh, again this year, and we're very proud of them for doing so. So that's it. Thank you. Well, as Carl's indicated, um, that this is not the norm, um, but we will have uh, much uh, busier agendas as we move forward in the fall because there's some major decisions that need to be made with respect to technology and our funding and a number of other issues that all of you uh, will have to delve into very deeply to, to look at uh, how we move this district forward. So with that, um, we, unless somebody has uh, something else, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Support. Moved and supported. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 We're adjourned at 714. <laughs>